Hey guys, let's make this Apple Watch scrolling animation with a color picker in Figma. First, we're going to make a frame with the F key. F. Use a desktop. Zoom in. Command plus. And we're going to build our layout first. We're going to choose an image of a watch. Just drop that in. Shrink it down. Put it to the side. New. K to stretch it bigger. Let's change this to an orange color. Now let's copy and paste this. It's a Apple Watch Ultra. Let's make this black. And let's make it a little bolder, so semi-bold. And let's make it bigger. Press K to stretch proportionately. We'll click this, and we're going to go Shift A to put into an auto layout. That looks good. Down at the price underneath. T. Make a box. Double click to hug. I think I might have an extra line on here. Delete. And that looks good. I'm going to go like this. Shift A. Auto layout. Make this a little smaller. Something like that. And let's add a description. T. And make it a light gray. And shift A. And let's type in buy now. All right, then we're gonna press shift A for auto layout. Then we're just gonna put a stroke. And then let's adjust the padding on this. That looks like a good button. Let's round the corners. Maybe five points. Now it's good to me. Press K to make it a little bit bigger. And then Shift A to auto layout. Let's make some color options under here. And then we can move it off the page. So let's press O to make a circle. That looks good. And I kind of want a gray highlight in the back. So let's make this a light gray, something like that. Barely see it. And let's copy and paste Command C, Command V, and shrink one down. And for now, let's make it black, just so we can see it better. So that's gonna be our highlight when it's clicked. Make it a little darker. All right, so I'm gonna group these together. Command G, let's group. I'm gonna duplicate by option and drag. I'm going to take these and press Shift A to put in an auto layout. Then I can come up into the auto layout, grab the group, and press Command D to duplicate. Now, if I grab this frame, I can adjust the padding in between them on the auto layout. And then let's center this. That looks good. Let's grab both of these. Do Option Command G to put it in a frame. And let's option drag it off of the frame. Let's add a page and let's name it comps. And let's paste command V our image in there. Now that we have our new frame, let's name this image one. And we'll duplicate it. Command D. That's image two. Auto fills it for you. And one more time, command D, image three. I'm going to fill these with my new images. So I'm going to command click on the image, go to the fill, choose another image. Let's click on my image too, which is green. Command click on this image, fill it, my image three. Good. Now we have these different colors. Now I'm going to change the colors here to the corresponding watch bands. So I'm going to press I for eyedropper tool. And let's make this beige a little bit, like stand out a little bit. And the green, the orange. Now I'm going to grab these three colors, these three here, and I'm just going to add them as styles so we can use them for later. 
let's say 10. Oh, add 10. Create the style. And orange. Create style. So now I have them. So I can do beige. Green. And orange. Select them all. Put them into component set. In your prototype panel, grab this arrow and drag to this frame. And it's going to be on click, smart animate, gentle, and let's say 800 milliseconds. Then you're going to connect all of your colors with the wristbands. So orange to orange, on click, smart animate, gentle, 800. Next one. I'm going to turn off the beige. So design. So go to zero. And I'm going to turn off the orange. And it'll go to zero. Then I'm going to connect the beige prototype to the beige. Settings the same. Now I'm going to go back to my page one. Where my image is set. Back to design. I can delete this now. And I'm going to throw in my asset, which is this, component one. Let's actually name this one. Color pick one. So page one. Go to my assets. Color pick one. Right about there. Looks good. Let's add a header now. Icon duck. And I'm just going to type in apple. And we're going to grab this one. So going to layers, I'm going to take the apple out of the folder and I'm going to drag it down. That's good. Now I'm going to make a hamburger menu. So let's press the L key for line. It's right here. Draw a line out. Let's do it at two points. Now I'm going to round the corners and make another one. Grab both of these. Shift A for auto layout. Now I come in here and Command D to duplicate. And this looks like a good size. Let's make our cart. So R for rectangle. Make it around the same size as this. Let's delete the fill and add a stroke for two. Let's round the corners at two, maybe four. That looks better. And let's add um, a half circle. Press O for a circle. Drag it down. Give it a stroke. Two. And delete the fill. Double click on the circle. Grab the anchor point at the bottom and delete it. I'm going to put this in a group. Command G. And then we're going to add these into an auto layout. So Shift A. They're all in the middle. I'm going to put the apple in the middle. All right. I'm going to adjust the padding. Now I'm going to drag a frame around this whole piece here. So F. Put it around. We'll take the header out of it. Make sure that's on. And I'm going to name this S1, which is section one for me. Then I'm going to duplicate this page, command D, command drag it down. Then I'm option drag to copy and paste a second section. Now let's just name this Apple Watch Pro. There's no such thing, but we're going to do that anyways. I'm going to quickly make a new watch color picker. I'm going to go to my comps page, grab the color picker one, drag down, and it's going to autofill it color pick two for me. So I'm just going to change these pictures and maybe the colors. It should all be prototyped the same. Option L to close all my layers. Go back to page one and let's put color picker two in here. So I'm going to delete this. Go to assets and put in my color pick two. 
And that looks about right. Same this S2 for section 2. Looks good. Now I have two sections. Command, drag. Let's make an anchor menu. Let's make a circle by pressing O. Let's make it a light gray. Grab your circle. Command C, Command B to make a second one. Let's make this black. Zoom into it. Let's make it a little bit bigger. Looks good. Command G to group that. Press T. And let's type in Ultra. And Shift A to make that an auto layout. Let's turn this to 20. And this is at 2626. Okay. Drag it down. Let's name this one Pro. We're going to make this a light gray. Like that. Take this. Turn it to zero. And this whole group. Let's make it. 20. And 20. That looks good. Now let's add some padding. Let's group these. And name this anchor. We're going to move this up to the fixed position so it doesn't move with the page. Let's go Command D to duplicate my frame. Let's adjust the anchor points. So this is going to be 15. The gray of pro. Now let's adjust our sections. Let's go Option L to close all our layers. Section 2 and Section 1. I'm going to put this below so it's not confusing. Inch these up. Now, to give it a cool effect, I'm going to move some of the type around so it slowly transitions. So on this one, I'm going to drag down. And let's move this whole copy section down to the bottom of this layer. And I'm going to drag everything back up to hide it. Back to there. Grab this one. I'm going to drag it up. I'm going to move this whole copy section up to the top of the layer. Command drag it back all the way down. Now let's prototype these. Let's go to prototype panel. And I'm going to click on the pro. Drag an arrow to this frame. On click smart animate gentle. Let's do 2000. To this one, on click, Smart Enemy, Gentle 2000. All right, let's play it. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. If you have any suggestions about tutorials you'd like to see, drop a comment below.